<laughs> Bit of a somber mood right now, yeah? <laughs> Who, who, who played a crucial role in bringing this film to you tonight. But I think the people that we really want to draw attention to tonight and thank tonight are some of the people who are highlighted in the film because really it's their lives that have been touched the most by what, what happened in a way that we, watching a movie, can't quite get to. We've tried as much as possible to bring you close to what that experience might be, and it's difficult to go there. It's, it's a hard place to go to. But I'd like to introduce right now um, a family who, who has gone there and who has had the courage to stand up and tell the world that they do not accept this, and they will not accept this. And they've traveled all the way across the country this evening to be here to, to share their message with you and to share their grief with you, so please, Welcome, Carlos and Melita Arredondo. Well, Carlos and I arrived here in LA uh, this afternoon about two o'clock. Um, and uh, <clears throat> one of the things that Vincent Bugliosi says very, very clearly is that it's a terrible precedent that this has occurred. Uh, the Iraq war not only killed our son, but many other sons and daughters of U.S. citizens, uh, and all of those in Iraq as well who we tend to forget about as a nation. Um, I also wanted to call attention to an, another Gold Star family who's here who lost their son. They were also in the film, Jane and Jim. If you could just stand up for something. very emotional to see it up large, uh, and uh, I just want to see. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Mr. Pugnosi, his wife, the director, the directors, and everybody involved in this film. I'm from Costa Rica, and I've been doing this because what happened here. I'm so glad that we have people like Mr. Guglossi and these people and all of you who take the time to look back and see what happened here because we cannot allow this happen again. We not only lost Alex, but his younger brother who also was going a being a Marine, he suffered the post-traumatic stress disorder, many soldiers suffered. Or, 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 the, or the son, Brian, commit suicide. Oh. And this is happening in many other families. I just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for looking at the movie. And please bring this message to your community, to your friends. Let's do something about this. Let's do it for our son, for our responsibility as Americans, for responsibility as humans. Thank you. Oh. Right on. can send people to where they can see showtimes and, and the theaters yes. it's playing? Uh, we've set up a website, uh, it's www.prosecution2012.com. 
and we'll have an updated schedule for all the showings that you can see. Now, in Los Angeles, we're hoping to have, uh, probably on the 12th, we may be having a screening here in Pasadena, but we predict that the following week, uh, maybe the last week in October, we'll come back to Los Angeles. Anybody else? Yes? Yeah. Uh, there is, we're, we're trying to, there's a lot to happen that, that Vincent has worked very hard to set up a lot of districts for, uh, and Dave, you may want to speak more on this. Yeah, Vince has actually been working behind the scenes for the last couple of years to um, find district attorneys in various counties and various states who would be willing to take this on. This is a... As, as you saw Elizabeth de la Vega mentioned, this is something that only the very courageous among us could even think of trying to take on. It could be a, a serious personal challenge to step forward and try and, and, uh, and take this on. And some of the people who have um, agreed have, have, have been running for office and they haven't won office or they have not yet run for office. And there, so there are sort of staggered attempts to get people in office who will agree to take on this cause. And um, it's, tough, it's tough going finding those people. But one of the messages of the film, I think, and maybe, maybe a message that hasn't really gotten out too clearly yet, is that this, this case can be initiated by several thousand different people across the country, not just district attorneys in different states, uh, but also the family members. So there's maybe 10 or 12,000 people, uh, any of whom could apply pressure and could initiate this case, particularly though the 2,700 and so uh, district attorneys. And um, some of them remarkably are, are reluctant and, and have voiced um, skepticism that this case can actually be a case. That's, that's been something that we've run into several times. And the reason for that is that the jurisdictions that would be that would have to be pieced together to allow this case to proceed, um, they're challenging. It's not, there's no question about it. And so right now it's about uh, finding uh, very courageous people who want to look in deeper to how this can be made into a real case. Does that answer your question? Hi. This is Peter Miller, executive producer. Um. Privilege of uh, working with Vincent Bugliosi for about uh, 28 years. Not only is he a dear friend of mine, but I'm honored to be his literary manager. And I'm very proud to say that when Vince and I were knocking around New York a few several years ago, we couldn't find a publisher for the prosecution of George W. Bush for murder. We couldn't find a publisher for the prosecution of George W. Bush for murder. And here is the New York Times best-selling book, The Prosecution of George W. Bush for Murder. If any of you believe in the cause that Nathan Folks has arranged here, you could make a donation and get a copy of the book. Thanks to Nathan Folks' efforts in revitalizing this project and invigorating, us, invigorating the release of the movie, we now have a shot at getting Mr. Bugliosi's magnum opus here put together. And uh, you could make a donation and get a copy of the book. The book is being re-released. And I want to thank you all for being here. This is uh, something I've been working on, I think, for now six years. So being here tonight is a celebration of seeing Mr. Bugliosi's wish to have this happen come true. Thank you. Um, yes. It was very difficult for Vince to get this book published, seen, and heard. That was very clear from the film. Have you guys received any heat from the powers that be? Like, uh, what the hell are you doing? And how about you have a nice warm cup of you know what? And, and, I mean, what is. You know, I think we've been getting a little bit of a different response than, than the, the, the heat that, uh, that Vince and Peter got when they were first bringing the book to the world. Our, the response we've gotten mostly is, we love the movie. No. It's great. No. Love it. No. 
-hmm. Festivals didn't want it. We submitted to all the festivals. They didn't want it. We got letters from some of them telling us how great it was. They didn't want it. So the message has been pretty clear to us that there's either the movie isn't terrible, which is possible, or this subject matter is just not easy to sit with. It just, it just isn't. So that's what we've been seeing on our end in terms of, it's, it's a blackout, but it doesn't look like a blackout, but it ends up being a blackout. But ever since Nate came on, um, it, it's become, it, it just has been snowballing progressively now. And it's almost like the time is finally right for this message. And Vince's work is finally, you know, it's time has finally come to find the light of day. Have, have the Bushes have seen it? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> if the NSA bugging of our cell phones is any indication, I would say yes. <laughs> I would definitely believe that's the case. <laughs> also, really briefly, I want to take a moment to introduce our producer, Jim Shaban, one more time. And also, Chance and Barry, our executive producer. You guys could just stand up. Jamal Adel, our co-producing partner, and Elisa McKissick, our associate producer. It has taken this team, uh, it, has taken, it has taken almost two entire separate teams, almost five years to make this film uh, finally hit the screen. But our screens keep getting bigger, so that's good news. <laughs> um, be before we take another question, I just want to say something to you. When you assemble a team, as you've done here, these talented people who have an emotional connection, a political connection, connection, and a spiritual connection, you get something very powerful. And because of Nathan and Danny Glover, I was able to come on this project and help out in a small way that I could. And I met these wonderful gentlemen and lady. And they allowed me to come and say what I had to say about the film and do what I wanted to do to push the film forward. And I just want to say to you, thank you for coming. Please tell everybody that you can tell about the film's existence. We need you in New York and Chicago on the 12th to tell people to come out and see the movie. We need you there. So God bless you and thank you. We have a website, I was telling you, it's prosecution2012.com. On the website, you can donate. Um, if you would like to donate to Law Soldier Foundation, you can also sign a petition. We're going to try to get as many names as possible of as many people as possible in this country who believe in the power of Vince's message. And you can also find, uh, I believe you can find links that will show you who are the district attorneys in your county, wherever you might live, and who they are, their, num their numbers, their names, so you can contact them directly and inquire um, what they're doing about this. Thanks, David. Uh, just to let you all know, I'm, I'm a green card legal alien in the United States, but I'm a Canadian citizen. And under obscure old laws, I'm allowed to live in Canada. And every six months, I have to show myself to Homeland Security. So you can imagine for the last seven years what my life's been like. But never once, never once has an officer said anything to me. I cross the border all the time. I just say that to you because people have this apprehension that you're Americans. And the world needs to know that the debate in America is the real America, and that's the message Vince wants you all to say and to hear. So tell your friends about the movie. I'm very proud of all these people out here. And this team here who put together a wonderful, wonderful project. We're going to, I, as I said, the true soapbox, the American theater. And let's see how this message plays out. Thank you so much. If you really want to go in, if you really want to go in deeper, I urge you to read Vince's book. Vince's book is a, like he said, it's a legal blueprint for how this case can be brought and what this case is. And uh, Peter might even have some copies of the book. I don't know if he has any for, uh, for sale tonight. But the book really is the foundation of the case. 
And we only had time to go through a few points that are raised in the book in the film. It, it, the evidence is, there's just so much more evidence than what we were able to have time to cover here, cover here tonight. So if there's any questions you guys have, we'll be, we'll be out there. We can answer them for you. And uh, come join us right outside. Thanks again.